particularly with the weight of the rod, um, we know that for the rod, it can be modeled as a cylinder. And so the volume of a cylinder would be equaling to pi r squared, the cross-sectional area, multiplied by the length of the rod. And so this would be pi multiplied by the radius of the rod, 0 0.01425 meters quantity squared multiplied by 0 0.858 meters. So the volume of the rod is 5.7, uh, my apologies, 5.474 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed. We know that then the mass of any object is the density times the volume. And so this would be equaling 7.8 times 10 to the third uh, kilograms per cubic meter. That would be the density multiplied by 5.474 times 10 to the negative four meters cubed. And so we find we have a mass equaling 4.27 kilograms. And so the weight would be equaling the mass times gravity. This would be 4.27 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared. And this is equaling 41.8 newtons. And this is about 9.4 pounds. So uh, you don't really need a cart. Uh, you can also just look at the mass. It's 4.27 kilograms. It's not really too. So uh, this would be the weight. And so no, uh, a cart is not needed. That would be the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.